I literally had to come in the house, you guys. I felt like that sun was just too, too, too much. My phone stopped working. The temperature thing came on, said it was too hot. So I said, hey, I, I just had to come in this house. So I came in, I'm in the basement. I sat down, turned on TV, let my phone cool off. And then the next thing I know, I felt like I was just going to sleep or something in the midst of just sitting there cooling out. So I'm gonna finish these potatoes up and give my rabbits what they need. And y'all, I got rid of two of the rabbits. Um, and then I'm gonna call it a day. I just need to call it a day because I don't feel well. And I knew that starting out, but I needed to get these potatoes in the ground. You know how you just need to do something and God is just pushing you, just pushing you. You need to get it done. And I was supposed to get it done like a week or so ago and I put it off and I didn't obey. So now in getting it done now, I should have did it when I felt good but instead I put it off and now I'm having to do it while I don't feel good. And that, that's just how it is sometimes. You just gotta push forward, get through it, you know, bring your teeth and go. So remember, when you hear that word say, go do something, go do it. Don't put it off because you don't know what your tomorrow brings. God knows what your tomorrow brings. That's why he told me to do it a week or two ago and I put it off. And now here I am trying to play catch up while I don't feel good. He knew I was going to be sick this week. I didn't. The tomatoes and cucumbers are looking really good. The broccoli didn't, it, it came up, but then it just did not do well. So I'll probably end up getting starts when it comes to the broccoli and some other things. But for the most part, the squash, the tomatoes, the cucumbers, they look awesome. Don't worry about that green pool out there, y'all. Um, it's not time for me to get that together yet. There are things that... Um, I'm being pushed to do now and the pool is not yet even though I want to do the pool now I have to I have to listen I have to obey what's up fam welcome back to Tommy's Carolina homestead so I am headed outside actually I've already been outside I forgot to do an intro so welcome to the channel thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up remember stay obedient and what God is telling you to do, no matter what comes up is not more important than what he is telling you to do. And I'll explain further because he was telling me some things and I just didn't listen. I was disobedient. Dream. 
Sorry I haven't been talking throughout the video, but when I don't feel good, I'm the most quiet person ever. So I thought I would just make it a peaceful one. So now I'm doing a voiceover. What you see me doing now is my entryway to my garden. I decided I would do strawberries here. I was trying to figure out for the past few weeks, what am I going to put here? The flowers that I was going to put there didn't work out. They cannot withstand that sun. So I figured, hey, why not put food there? Why not strawberries? So hopefully this works out. So let's get to planting. And then we're going to plant our sweet potato starts and also my potatoes. So what I'm doing right now is seeing how I can break it up. How many starts can I get from this one plant, which costs $14.98. So you can get quite a few from it. So I break them apart and you can get more strawberries because when you see those long stems growing out from the plant itself, all they do is root themselves in the soil and branch you out more strawberries. So I'm hoping that that is what will happen here and I'll have an abundance off of this one plant which costs $14.98 can't get over that but anyway guys so I'm gonna let you watch this part and I'll be back talking to you as soon as we get to the potatoes and sweet potatoes treasure hunt
this stem right here, that is what I'm talking about. It will root down into the soil. So we're gonna do this one over here and then we'll go into doing our sweet potatoes and potatoes. I'm gonna do basically the same thing. I'm gonna squeeze it around, then I'm gonna break it apart and separate the different plants from that one plant. So I do water them in, um, I just didn't show it because I'm so anxious to get over here to these tomatoes and, not tomatoes, I'm ready for tomatoes, but potatoes and sweet potatoes that I just said, okay, we're not going to record that. We're going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So I bought some potatoes like over three months ago. As soon as I got them home, y'all, they started growing out and chitting. So I just threw them in a box and sat them aside and said, these will be what I plant in the spring. So that's what I'm doing now. I have also bought sweet potato starts because I did not start any sweet potatoes. Um, but here are the potatoes with the different growth on it now you can cut these and separate them i don't have that kind of time i don't feel good so i'm just going to put them in and plant them usually i would cut them never done them just planting them whole um well yeah i have with the sweet potatoes but not with the potatoes and they, these are my starts that i got from lowe's you can buy starts don't feel like you're cheating you're not cheating you're growing food and however you can grow your food, the easiest way for you, do that. Just grow your food because food shortages are picking up, you guys. So I'm going to take them out of the container just by squeezing around the plastic. And then they should just fall out or pull out easily because they are actually dry. I did not even water them. Um, I got them like the day before when I was in South Carolina because I haven't seen any here in North Carolina. So I'm taking them out and then I'll line them up where I want them, which will be on the side of the raised bed, but with space for me to put a trellis in there. So when the, they actually start growing and branching out, I'll have something to trellis it onto. I'm going to also use my trowel and make a trench in there. I started with my hand. I thought about, mm, I'm going to get my trowel. I think I did that for the potatoes. But with these, I just kept them straight down that line, kept about two inches from that wood where I'm at. That way I can stick my trellis in there when the time comes. So whether you're using your hand or you're using the trowel to get your holes, um, very simple. Just go down about two, three inches put your plant start in there and once you get through doing all of that you can water them i don't water everything until i'm done with the actual potatoes on the other raised bed I have a bean from last season growing over in this bed. Like I told you before, I was going to make a trench. I did this on both sides of the raised bed so that later I can come back and put a trellis in if needed. And then I'm going to place my chitting um, potatoes in there. And I kept a little space in between them. 
Um, that way they have room to branch out with the roots and stuff. And then I just cover them up, but I kind of healed them up when I covered them. I don't normally do that. I usually just put it in and just flatten it down, but I'm gonna try the healing method this time around. So I'm doing the same thing over here, spacing them out, digging my trench, and then placing each potato maybe two, three inches apart from the other one. So I took this clip and show you again that this is how these potatoes, they just really grow so fast when you get them home from the store. You don't have to buy seed potatoes. Just use those. I literally had to come in the house, you guys. I felt like that sun was just too, too, too much. My phone stopped working. The temperature thing came on, said it was too hot. So I said, hey, I, I just had to come in this house. So I came in, I'm in the basement. I sat down, turned on TV, let my phone cool off. And then the next thing I know, I felt like I was just going to sleep or something in the midst of just sitting there cooling out. So I'm gonna finish these potatoes up and give my rabbits what they need. And y'all, I got rid of two of the rabbits. Um, and then I'm gonna call it a day. I just need to call it a day because I don't feel well. And I knew that starting out, but I needed to get these potatoes in the ground. You know how you just need to do something and God is just pushing you, just pushing you. You need to get it done. I was supposed to get it done like a week or so ago and I put it off and I didn't obey. So now in getting it done now, I should have did it when I felt good, but instead I put it off and now I'm having to do it well, I don't feel good, and that, that's just how it is sometimes. You just gotta push forward, get through it, you know, bring your teeth and go. So remember, when you hear that word, say, go do something, go do it. Don't put it off because you don't know what your tomorrow brings. God knows what your tomorrow brings. That's why he told me to do it a week or two ago and I put it off and now here I am trying to play catch up while I don't feel good. He knew I was going to be sick this week. I didn't. So this is literally what I have left to do right here. I made like a trench on both sides that way. Once um, everything starts growing up, like with the sweet potatoes over there, with the leaves and stuff, if I need to trellis, I can stick a trellis here on this side and I can stick a trellis on that side. And um, yeah. So let me finish covering those up and go feed my rabbits. So I had to take my spray nozzle off because this is an old water hose and it has a little bend in it and I got tired of it wetting my clothes up. So I have to get another extension water hose, which I have one that we use for our fish tank. I could just use that one. So, but for now we're gonna do this because this heat is a whole different heat right now. So basically the sun is sunning and the heat is heating. <laughs> 